In the anime series Chainsaw Man, based on the original manga, a young man named Denji steps into an underworld of hunting devils and supernatural evil with a team of fellow hunters. The first season produced by MAPPA Studios in Japan is a high-level achievement in action and dramatic animation. In this video, we'll look at how the sixth episode creates cinematic shots to visualize the story. Per usual, there will be spoilers to the story of Chainsaw Man, so I recommend checking out the series before proceeding further. As a general story overview, the first 12 episodes of the series reveal the origin story of Denji and his pet devil, Pochita, as Denji discovers a new life hunting devils under the mysterious Makima. Denji is assigned to the stoic Aki while being paired with the wild fiend Power. The team falls in and out of various misadventures as more of the truth behind their operation is unveiled. So when looking at how to make cinematic shots, one place to start is analyzing the composition and figuring out the horizon line, as well as what elements are in the foreground, midground, and background. Lens choice can also be a part of the equation. In cinematic shot number one, the camera is placed high above Jimeno's head and looking down toward the rest of the gang on the staircase in the lower floor. The back of Jimeno's head acts as a foreground element, and she's slightly out of focus to add spatial depth. The perspective lines in the background help us to see that we're in a downshot with a slight three-point perspective grid. The camera lens is likely a little wider than 50 millimeters to help us see more spatial context. In cinematic shot number two, the camera's placed low and pointing upward with the back of Denji's head and his body in the foreground, slightly blurred out to add a sense of spatial depth. The focus of the shot is on Power, who is on screen right, and she is sitting next to Denji. We see the ceiling in this upshot, and the background perspective cues help us to see the three-point perspective grid. In cinematic shot number three, the camera shoots through two of the group members in the foreground and focuses on Komeni, who is looking down at her lap on the bed in the midground. The group members in the foreground are slightly out of focus to separate them from the midground and background, which creates spatial depth. Komeni's sense of isolation and feeling trapped is enhanced by the shot's composition, visually placing her in between the two other group members. In cinematic shot number four, we see an insert shot of a clock with Aki's reflection appearing in the glass. We see similar uses of reflections of characters in windows and other shots from earlier episodes. This shot's composition superimposes Aki's reflection on the clock glass, creating a sense of time pressure on him and the other characters. A macro lens would likely be used to film this kind of insert shot. In cinematic shot number five, the camera is placed high above the characters and is staged outside the room window, shooting into the room with this down shot. The perspective cues indicated by the furniture in the room help us to see the ground plane. This foreground element also helps to separate the characters inside the room in different visual spaces. The grid of the window in the foreground is blurred out of focus. In cinematic shot number six, the camera is placed higher above the back of Power's head, looking toward Denji and Himeno in the midground against the row of windows. We see Power's reflection in the window on screen left. This shot is likely using a wider lens to give us a sense of the environment where the characters are staged. In cinematic shot number seven, the camera is high above the ground looking down at two of our group members on the sidewalk. We can sense the three-point perspective grid from the perspective cues formed by the architectural elements in the foreground on screen left. The formation of the tiles on the ground clue us into the orientation of the ground plane. Cinematic shot number eight, the camera showcases power from a forced perspective where her hand is close to the camera lens and appears larger in proportion compared to the rest of her body. The camera is high above her head looking down in a down shot. The perspective cues in the window on screen left help us to see the three-point perspective grid within the frame. The camera lens is likely a wider lens allowing for the size distortion in power's hand in the foreground. Cinematic shot number nine, Aki leaning forward and looking down is in the foreground, and he is slightly out of focus. The camera is focusing us on Jimeno's reaction toward him as she is more on screen left. The area of light and shadow behind Jimeno also acts as a framing element to showcase her facial expression, drawing our eye to her face. The camera lens might be a longer lens to compress the space in between foreground, midground, and background within the frame. In cinematic shot number 10, the camera is placed below Power's chest and frames her in an upshot. We see more of the ceiling plane informed by the perspective cues of the background. Power looks off screen towards screen right, and her eyes are drawn to her facial expression and acting. Power is framed within a visual space bordered by structural elements in the background. So overall, these technical descriptions of each shot helps break down the elements of what makes them cinematic. The language of film, as shown in composition, lens choice, and camera movement are well executed in this episode to heighten the drama and action.